Ah, the ladies in the tea house. Nancy Curie, Professor Mary Jane Morgan, and Dr. Lemuel Periwig. It's like shrunken heads up here. Knickknacks, they're calling them. Knickknacks, bric a brac, curios, and objet d'art. Probably worth less than a fiver the whole lot. Indeed. Heaps of crockery. And never was a crockery better crocked. Artisan and tidiness adds a dash of the bohemian. They don't look like they're red very often. Heaps of crockery. And never was a crockery better. It's a clock. It's an old station clock. Knickknacks, bric a brac, probably worth less than a. F All right, so there's really not much here then, is there? Just the people. The waitress looks pretty gloomy. She does. She looks smart. This is professor. Ah, the sunken, hooded eyes of the intellectual. <laughs> okay. She doesn't speak then. Are we... Ahem! <clears throat> Yeah, what do you want? That was very long to wait. What are you reading? Poetry. It must be good. It is. <laughs> Who's the poet? Oh, you probably haven't heard of him. <laughs> Try me. William Willowick. Of course I've heard of him. Name one of his poems, then. The, um tea shop menu poem. I knew you wouldn't know who he is. <laughs> so, who is William Willowick? He's basically the world's number one romantic poet. He's amazing. And he hasn't even seduced any of his relatives yet. Plus, he's totally dishy. Check out his picture and swoon some dandies. <laughs> wow. Lock up his sisters. He's been my 100% favourite poet ever since I heard about him this weekend. <laughs> Is this your tea shop? No, it's my dolphinarium. Show starts at three o'clock, front row may get wet. A sarcasm is the lowest form of wit, Miss Curie. Not as low as repeating things other people said. Do you want me to call in your tab, Periwig? <laughs> Good one, my dear. The bonnest of moes. <laughs> What kind of drinks do you do? <sighs> Cinnamon cappuccino, slimline cocoa shots, sober joe, hemp tea with antioxidants, or minty double italiano sea salt frappes. What about a glass of water? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I'm interested in one of your drinks. What's a cinnamon cappuccino? It's basically tepid goat milk. You want one? Am I going to collect drinks yep. again? Thanks. I guess so. Shall we just collect them I'm all? I'm interested in one of your... Might as well, I suppose. What's a slimline cocoa shot? It's a super healthy cocoa concentrate. Without all the fattening sugar that makes the taste bearable. You want one? Yep. Thanks. I'm interested in one of your drinks. What's a sober Joe? It's the ultimate hangover cure. Don't drink it if you're planning to operate heavy machinery or sleep any time this month. You want one? Uh, we might yep. be able to use that to wake up the sailors out there. Thanks. I'm interested in... What's hemp tea with antioxidants? Are you sick of having hemp tea ruined by oxidation? Well... Then hemp tea with antioxidants is the drink for you. You want one? <laughs> yep. Thanks. I'm interested in... There's only one left, right? What's a minty double Italiano sea salt frappe? It's exactly like a double Italiano sea salt frappe, but mintier. You want one? Yep. 
All right, that's all the drinks. Thanks. See ya. Whatever. Okay, we have all the drinks. If that's going to be of use, I don't know, but we've got them. I'm Nelly. What's your name? I'm Professor Morgan. What brings you here, Nelly? I'm trying to make a name for myself as a buccaneer. In a tea shop? <laughs> I might need some caffeine. As it happens, I know a thing or two about pirates. What do you know about pirates? Almost everything. I'm the senior lecturer in piratical studies at West Ham University. Wow! In fact, I'm compiling the Encyclopedia Piratanica. The Encyclopedia Piratanica? Will you put me in it? I'm an excellent pirate. What's your name? Nellie Coutelot. The pirate who plundered an entire ship in the baked beans? No, that's Nellie Toot. Never mind, I'm really famous. I'm sorry, I can't put you in the book. Mm. Have you ever heard of Bloodbeard? William? Yes, I used to know him quite well. Wow, I bet he was amazing. Was he amazing? Well... How amazing? Let's talk about something else, okay? <laughs> um, okay. What do you think of this place? Well, the coffee tastes like milky ash. The patrons are vacuous posers. And you have to hawk your gold teeth just to buy a gluten-free biscotti. Pretty average, then. <laughs> Enjoy your coffee. Take care. Ahoy, I'm Nelly. Welcome, welcome, bienvenue. Why are you talking like a hotel? Words, my dear. For me, Dr. Periwig, words are a passion. What's so great about words? I delight in them. In interlocution, in quill and ink, in etymological lineages as old as the skies. I catch words as they flutter from the lips and I pin them like butterflies. So you're... Writing a dictionary, yes. Jeez, you made it sound like it was interesting. I'm off. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry to insult you. Uh, okay. Doesn't seem like there's a lot going on here, other than collecting all the drinks. Now we've got a hangar over here. Sober Joe. We could try giving that to one of these. I suppose. I'd better not. Yeah. I can't do that. All right. Maybe not. Hmm. Where should we go? What's to do? What's to do? Let's look at the map. We've gone to Rogue Island, we've gone to Chinatown. So it looks like we've gone to all the locations, right? In Chinatown, we've found the copper dish. We haven't found any golden rod yet. And I don't know what collecting the coasters is about, but we have two coasters now. Dreadnought coaster and the tugboat coaster. And we know that the candles that we need are contraband. So we have to try to get the contraband freed the candles for that guy. We need to get up to see Groot. We need to do something to prevent that to sort of stymie that woman. Oh good, we can fast travel. All right, perhaps one of the drinks for her, huh? Cinnamon cappuccino, the hemp tea, the frap. Enid Frome. No, that's not right. Oh. Not that one then. Empty. I don't think that will work. Hmm. We need to distract her somehow. I haven't seen anything else that would be useful for distracting her. Unless we can use the conch shell somehow.
I was thinking the drinks would do it, but... I don't think they work together. Perhaps not. Can we combine the drinks? No, that's not right. I can't do that. No, can't give her any drinks. Okay. I don't know that the coasters serve any purpose here. Let's see what the bird has for a suggestion. What should we do now? I suppose we should talk to this Justice Groat. Any other ideas? People keep ships in harbors, right? Perhaps we should ask around. Yeah. What else? We should find a receiver dish and a rod for Rackham's bird detector. We ought to look round for a gold-plated metal rod. Mm. And I like the look of the gong in the Chinese restaurant. Perhaps it would help to get those aromatherapy candles from Van Zandt. I agree. Yes, that's the entire list of things we need to do. And the first thing we need to do is go talk to this group. Y uh, uh, um, Sorry, didn't catch that. You do not have an appointment. You must stay in the waiting area. Humph. Uh, excuse me. I'm here for my appointment with Justice Grote. I told you. Yeah, but I accidentally said the wrong name. My real name is... Are these different than they were? Or just a different order, perhaps? Ebar Rind Cancel. Not on the list. Plus, it was obviously made up. I'm here for my... Well, I told you. Yeah, yeah but I... My real... Slim Withers. Not on the list. Plus, it was obviously made up. All right, so I don't think that's going to work. Tell me more about Chumpface. Don't call him that. This is a painting of our distinguished Justice Groat. Justice Groat comes from hmm. a long line of Justice Groat. Looks like the only person with an appointment today is Mary Jane Morgan. Okay. Uh, excuse me. I didn't have to distract her. She distracted herself. I'm here for my appointment. I told you. Yeah, but I accidentally... My real name is... Mary Jane Morgan. Better check your list. Hoof, <laughs> <laughs> but I... Oh, it seems you are on the list. Step this way, Miss Morgan. Call me Nelly. <laughs> yeah, just more pictures and such. Oh, he's right there. The old geezer is just as gross. And there's nothing else we can interact with, I guess. Yes? Greetings, Justice Grote. I am Nellie Coutelot, adventurer, bird detective, carrier of many objects. And I am Justice Grote. Very busy. Get to the point. Please make me a privateer. A privateer? How irregular. Van Zant keeps a small number of privateers on staff. A noble band, selflessly dedicated to protecting these isles. Ha! Make me a privateer, and I'll be twice as noble as those dolts. Uh, perhaps I should consult Van Zandt? Don't consult Van Zandt. An applicant of my noble nobility must address Justice Grote himself. Well, if I was to commission you, you'd have to prove yourself. Yes. How? You'd have to show your tactical prowess. Easy. I would require proof of your great deeds. Piffling. <laughs> and you'd have to be admired by the people. Knee bother. <laughs> Knee bother. <laughs> All right, how can I show my tactical prowess? How can I show my tactical prowess? You must play Van Zandt at the great game of the sea. Oh. And if I win, you'll believe I have tactical prowess? <laughs> <laughs> My dear, you have no hope of winning against a master like Van Zandt. If you can draw against him, then I will be satisfied. Okay. How can I prove my great deeds? 
A worthy candidate would appear in the annals of maritime history. Yes, so we have to get in the Piratanica. The what's of maritime history? Books, young lady. Books. Show me an account of your heroism in a respectable publication, which I very much doubt you'll be able to do, and I will be satisfied on this point. How can I convince you I'm loved by the people? Well now, let me see. Most popular heroes have a song written about them. Yes? Show me that you've been immortalized in folk song. Then I will consider you a potential candidate. Okay. So we have to get into the Encyclopedia of Pirates. We have to get that guy to sing a song about us. And we have to beat Van Zandt at some game that I'm sure he won't play us at until we have done something else. So quite a lot that we need to... Got it. ...to do. But at least we've made a little progress there. Catch you later. Now, I wonder if we can just come and go as we please with this. That would be nice. All right, so he's going to want something. Solomon Spry is going to need something, isn't he? Is that a gold rod up there, I wonder? I don't think I can take that with me. The buildings are teetering on the rocks. Oh, he has coasters in here, doesn't he? What's up with these stickers? I made a whole bunch of promotional stickers when I was trying to get famous. Did it work? Fame ain't important to me. It's about the music. It didn't work then? No. Take one if you like. Of course. Is it actually a sticker? Private Air Pudding was out of It's a promotional sticker on Solomon's Pie's face. Took a bite of shark meat with Barbara's dad and the great white shark ate him Fuck instead. You should immortalize me in folk song. My name's easily silly enough. <sighs> the truth is, I can't write. I've lost my muse. Where did you last see it? It ain't something you see. It's something you feel. Something that follows you, inspires you. Writing your letters and sending you bits of hair. <laughs> you mean a groupie? Yeah, that's the kind of muse I need. If I find you a muse, will you put me in a song? Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Will you? Yes. Maybe I could be your muse. No offense, miss, but I need someone with a poetic soul. Hmm, I do hate all poems except cat ones. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so now we have to find him a muse. Later. Well, it's probably going to be the girl in the tea shop, right? Later, baby. I imagine. That is what I imagine. It would be in the tea shop. I don't know if we were able to talk to those two uh, guys playing the car the game back there. They might actually be playing the game that we have to play against Van Zant, And maybe they could teach the game to me. These chaps here are definitely playing a card game of some sort. Hey, guys! Hey, over here! I want to charter a ship! They're ignoring me. Don't take it too hard. They're like that with everyone. What's the crack with these privateers? They're snooty because they got a piece of paper from Justice Groat. Says they're allowed to go plundering around the guttering owls. So? Van Sant don't let no one else leave Arbor. Hmm. Perhaps if I got a piece of paper from Justice Groat, I could act all snooty and chase down the Baron, etc. Mm hmm. It's a monopoly! Yep, privateers get all the pie, and they give a big slice to Van Sant. With cream and custard on top. 
And cherries. Are you hungry? A bit. <laughs> we already know who Groot is. How come there's so many airships? The Owls is surrounded by jagged rocks. Big boats can't get in close, so we use airships. There's so many of them. I need to charter a ship. But you ain't... I know. I'll work something out. Where can I get a ship? Well, there's only one ship standing idle. <laughs> but the Sanitania ain't moved for years. Sanitania? They call it that because the captain went raving mad. Some say he's still in there. Mm. Ooh. Actually, he definitely is. I see him most mornings. you got to give the cabin door a kick if you want in. <laughs> Do you think she'll fly again? That rusty old hulk. You'd have to be the best grease monkey in the world to get her moving. Which, luckily for you, I am. Yay! But I'll need a little alcoholic lubrication. Like oil or something? Like Mama Fishcake's non-specific. Mm -hmm. Bring me a bottle and she'll be dodging clouds by lunchtime. Okay. Who's just as gross? He lives beyond the arbor at the end of Grote Promenade. He's Van Sant's boss. But everyone knows who really runs this joint. Yeah. What was About the drink that we that airship. Bring me a bottle of Mama Fish Cakes non-specific and the job's done. Mama Fish Cakes non-specific. Alright. Sounds I normally get it from Chinatown, on the far side of the island. Oh, oh that's helpful. See you! Chinatown. I didn't see anything about drinks, though. Watch out for falling fiddle blocks. Um, yes. A little kick. There we go. We're in the airship. He doesn't look too good, does he? Wah! Ugh! Empty. I guess that's the captain's desk. There's something here. Let's have a look. Aha! It's a picture. A picture of the ship, in fact. Being christened. And that looks to me like the professor. Captain Lear. The champagne is smashing into the ship, but she never launched. That looks like the notice board on the harbour, before it got all dirty. It's too blurry to read what it says about the voyage. It doesn't actually list her, but... She was a fine ship. Anything else? Nope. Very interesting. I can't make stern nor aft of them. The charts are old and desiccated. The ship's wheel. Um, I don't drive, actually. <laughs> the captain looks a bit odd. Yeah, he looks kind of dead. Um... Are the muscles ready, Susan? Say what? No, 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 that won't do. The ombudsman would never stand for it. Hmm. I think this sailor's gone off the deep end. What's your name? I'm Captain Lear, of course. We met in the Ambassador's Menagerie. Right. So where's my story? What? Story time. Story time. Story time. Whoa, okay. Story time? I need my bedtime story. Otherwise, I can't wake up. Hmm. Okay, here's a story for you. Once upon a time, there was a ship's captain called Lear. Story time. Yes, yes, yes. Excellent vestibule. He was going on a voyage. And Lear was going on a voyage to... On a voyage to Treacle Pudding Island, Bologna... Van Diemen's Land or Milton Keynes. Well, this is something we're gonna have to get off that. 
on a voyage to Treacle Pudding Island. A thing outside. Hmm. But why would he go? Isn't he happy at home? Um, he was voyaging because... He was a brave explorer. He was traveling to the heart of darkness. He was piling a warship into battle. He was delivering some ceramic novelties to Spinster Island. He was a brave explorer of distant lands. <gasps> Is that a... No, that's your own arm. <laughs> but, but someone breaks a promise to Leah. Yes? They betray him. What? Oh, yes, a promise. They promised to make Lear an admiral. They promised to give him a makeover. They promised to marry Lear. And they promised to give him a barrel of herring. I think they was promised Mary. to marry Lear. <laughs> you must be mad. Lear was married to the skies. And the sky ship's name. What was her name? Sanitania, but that's not correct. The Sanitania? No. Ugh. No, 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 you didn't tell it right. <sighs> Perhaps I should look into this guy's past. There must be some detail I'm missing. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Please leave quietly. The door is asleep. Okay, we can't read the charts. Frame. Hmm. Let's see where the uh, board is out in the harbor. So that that was too dirty to read. Not sure that I saw it though in the first place. Oh, this board. Hmm. Dirty notice board. My goodness. It's dirty and then some, hmm? I can't wipe it off with my bare hands. No. I can't wipe it True. Alright, fine. We don't really have anything to wipe it off with at the moment. Oh, cleaning rag. I'll wipe off the dirt with this cloth. That's better. Justice Groot prevents a voyage fabulous. Justice Groat presents. So Justice Groat was backing the voyage. It looks like the airship was supposed to go to Grockle Island. Grockle but Island. the voyage was cancelled. It was the glorious Sanitania. I don't think that will work. I can't do that. I'd better not. Cancelled. Here's the only places we can interact with, so it's on the glorious Sanitania. Well, we can talk to the professor, probably, about that. Oh yes, let's use the map. No need to walk around if we can fast travel. Let's see if we can get the backstory on this. No. Okay, that's not helpful then, is it? The Encyclopedia Piratanica. Will you put me in it? I'm an. What's your name? Nellie Kutalos. The pirate who plundered an entire ship in the baked beans? No, that's Nellie Toot. Never mind. I'm really famous. I'm sorry. I can't put you in the book. Okay. Enjoy your coffee. Take care. So it doesn't know anything about Lear, actually. But what if we show her this? I still think that's her. We can't show it to her, I guess. Captain, Captain Lear looks happy. Yes, but why can't we find out... Why can't we see anything about that person? That looks like the notice board before it got all done. It's too blurry to... Yeah, yeah. The champagne is smashing into the ship, but she never launched. Hmm. Professor Mary Jane Morgan. We have to find something else about her, I guess. Maybe we can't get that information until she decides to put us into the book. 
we need to get put into the book anyway to get the requirement that uh, Groot set for us. And we need to get the candles in order to make progress in Shantytown, I think. Uh, Chinatown, rather. I don't want to climb up the... Th yeah, what is this thing? A thingy on stilts. A pair of drunken angels. <laughs> I doubt that. It smells sour. Ugh, bitterness in liquid form. Whoa, you can smell the caffeine. I feel more alert just holding the cup. It's a double Italiano sea salt frappe with mint. It's a promotional sticker of Solomon's prize face. Hmm. All right, well, we still haven't found a golden rod anywhere. There's many tasks to work on and not a lot of direction at the moment. <laughs> 